So there's no way you can wash your car. Go to a car detailing place. Let's go. Let me show you how it's done, how much it costs, and what you can expect. You can't wash your own car in China. Sounds ridiculous, I know, but there are many reasons why. My car is filthy. I've been away for over a month. So I've just been to the ATM to withdraw money because unlike many places in the West, there's no such thing as free parking here in China. Okay, let's get that out. 1,020. Wow, <laughs> that was expensive. That's pretty much worth about the, I don't know, a tenth of the car. This thing is, um, it's literally just not worth anything these days. I did buy it new, but you know, it's a Chinese car and they don't really appreciate. That's one of the drawbacks of owning a car here in China is the fact that you, first of all, you have to pay for parking like everywhere. There's no exception. It doesn't matter where you go to park, where you drive to, you always pay for parking. And it doesn't even matter what type of city. It can be a first, second, third tier city, doesn't matter. You still have to pay. Man, anyway, I'm over it now. That was just a bit of a dent to the wallet. Um, why can't you wash your car in China? It's quite simple. There are no driveways. <clears throat> there's no, well, there are no garden hoses and there's just no space. We also don't have any self-service car washes here in China. Pretty much you want to get your car washed. There's only one option and that is to go to like a car detailing place or a car wash. And although they're fairly reasonably priced, it is annoying that you can't actually, for instance, on a Sunday, just go and wash your own car because that's you know, part of car ownership. Thing is, um, the whole owning a car thing here in China is still new. Uh, it's, you know, it's an under, underdeveloped thing. It hasn't matured. And it's only the, the generation, this current generation or the first generation to ever realistically own cars. Right, I'm pulling up to one of these car detailing places here. Yeah, I'll take Nali. We are seat here. Oh, you found me. 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 Oh, So there is there is my filthy car. It's absolutely disgusting. Since I've left it down there, a lot of people have obviously opened and closed their car doors into it. That's very normal for China. A couple more dings and dents. And yeah, as you can see, it's just absolutely terrible. Now these car detailing places are often very cheap here in China and once again the reason for that is well first of all they're in popular demand since nobody has the time the place or the facilities to wash their own cars but secondly of course it's all down to labor the cost of labor here in China is incredibly cheap and so you'll find that these guys you know they'll earn a very basic salary but they don't get paid by the hour they don't get any kind of uh, sort of labor fee so you'll normally get away with paying anywhere between 20 to 50 RMB, depending if you go to a posh place or not, for a basic car wash and of course a vacuum and all that kind of thing inside. You can, if you want, pay exorbitant amounts to get sort of waxing and all the other stuff done as well. But you know, especially with a car like that, you don't want to be spending any real money on it. So as they were moving my car from the washing station to the drying station, I noticed that one of my brake lights was in fact blown. So I asked them to get me a new brake light or Deng Pao as it's called in Chinese. And you know, that's what's nice about these car wash places, these detailing places. They usually carry a fair amount of spare parts. You know, basic things like light bulbs, they carry car batteries, oil, that kind of thing. So, you know, they can usually fix all these little bits and pieces as you need them. So inside the car washes, you get these little rest areas where they sell, you know, 
little trinkets for your cars, air fresheners, things like that, very similar to the rest of the world. Usually they have a Chinese tea table though, which is a little different. Let's go take a look. Okay, well, that's that. Um, way nicer than before. That was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, like I said, can't do anything about all the horrible dings and, and dents that have been left here just by parking it. So that's another one of the things you have to watch out for in China is, well, don't buy an expensive car. You're just going to cry. Bye-bye. So guys, that's it. The be all and the end all. It cost me, what, 70 RMB? It was 50 RMB for the car wash. They did a fairly good job. That is pricey, by the way. Please remember that I live in a first tier city. If you live in a smaller city, you'll be paying around 20, maybe 30 RMB for the same sort of job. Uh, they've charged 20 for the replacement bulb in the light at the back. That's fair. I must stress to everyone out there, if you're planning on owning a car in China, rather don't. Um, it made sense to me years ago, but now it's just a burden. As you can see, I have to pay money for parking. That never stops. I have to also, you know, keep the thing running and you know, keep registering it and all that and uh, especially in the big cities the public transport here is fantastic now when I lived far out of the main city it made a lot of sense to have a car but now that I live inside the main city it makes no sense at all because I can just take the metro to go you know pretty much everywhere anyway that's it for this one guys I hope you found it informative I can't wait to see you all in the next video and until next time you know the drill as always stay awesome